Thank you, Danny. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests for correction of joint Toastmaster 1993. <laughs> September. My project tonight is the HPL presentation. As you can remember, I did part one, and it's about the contest that we did. My job was to arrange the contest and it became a part of my presentation. So today I am presenting you with the result. Okay, now you might be wondering what is HPL? HPL is a requirement for the Advanced Leadership Silver Award. It's learning about leadership and building a leadership skill, and it's one step closer to attain our DTM. Now, there are six dimensions for this project, and we went through the vision, the values, direction, persuasion, support, but tonight I will be focusing on the development and the appreciation for all those that were a part of it. The action plan that was taken is I had, I had folks that did the registration, that take care of the refreshment, timers and counters, chief judges, chief judge and judges, and table topic chair. Now I'm telling you about my experience. How many of you in leadership experience obstacles? Yes, yes. Now, what do you do when you en encounter an obstacle? Any volunteer? Yes. You always have to keep pushing and get over the obstacle to continue in life. Oh, there you go, you don't quit, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Well, some of my experience in doing this, putting the contest together, there are obstacles. And some of the obstacles that I encountered, I remember Lindsay was in charge of getting volunteers. And when she could not find volunteers from our club, she went outside of our club to other clubs, and they were so glad to be a part of this. So that was one way to overcome obstacles. Now, what about conflict? Have you ever experienced conflict in leadership? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have experienced conflict in this and a part of it was I went by the agenda that I had and it was the timing that I followed was longer, was shorter than, the, than how I made the agenda. So what do I do? Instead of complaining or announcing to the old area contest that we're, sh we're going to be short in time, I said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Because it, the agenda was already printed, so I could not go and change the agenda. So I said, all right, what I'm going to do is to focus on all of the item on the agenda, but try to pace it that everything is sort of fit close together that we could finish on time. And that's what we did, and we came right in time. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Thank you. So you will encounter conflict in leadership, but find a way to overcome. Now, George Washington said, where there's no vision, there's no hope. I had to reevaluate my vision for this presentation. My vision stayed the same, however, my mission has to be altered. And what my mission was to get everyone in this club more involved, but because a lot of people was not able to volunteer, we have to go out of our club and engage with four clubs, and we have a vast diversity of people that <coughs> are willing to help. And that's how we overcome that. Now, I believe the, progr the program was a great success. And one thing we're to remember in Toastmaster, 
you're not alone. Whatever position you have or project you have, you are not alone. All you have to do is to ask for help. And people are our resources. Therefore, if we show respect, we will get respect and cooperation. We get a great turnout and a great diversity. Now, a part of it is to show appreciation. William James said, the deepest craving of human spirit is to feel appreciated, respected, and recognized. And tonight, I just want to thank Reva McNeil. First of all, I had got a committee to advise me, the board of director per se, and Reva, Sue, and Wynne somewhat was a part of that committee, and they worked with me greatly, helping me, and showing me and telling me how to accomplish this goal. And it was very much appreciated. So I just want to thank Sue and Reva and Winsome. Also, the registration was Mary and her team, Tarani and her team, refreshment, timers and counters. Lindsay was in charge of that. Chief judge and judges, thank you. Felicia was part of that. And tabletop and chair was Roger. And also our Sergeant of Arms, Ron, is not here, and our VP of membership, Angie. So I want to thank everyone for helping. These are the list of people that are on my council. They put it all together. Now, leadership is unlocking people's potential to become greater, and that's by Bill Brady. So I just want to thank everyone for participating, and I hope you learned something from this project. Thank you so much.